Hey ladies and gents, it's Zim, and I'm doing the review <laughs> on the Model 81A1, uh, P40, right? Um, uh, you know, uh, sometimes I look at the premium shop going, ah, you know, that doesn't look too bad. You know, it's it's a P40 at tier 4, you know, it's going to have good altitude performance, it's going to have good speed. Yeah, um... It looks nice. <laughs> so, uh, what do we got here? Um, well, the X, this, the model, it's actually the Curtis Model 81A1. This was the first production run of the P40. They built 199 of these planes. And I don't know why it took them 199 to figure out this thing was shit. But, yeah, it, 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 literally, they built 199 of these planes. This was the very first variant of the... Uh, XP40, the very first of the P40 series line that was built. Um, uh, what we have here, and, you know, and I'm, I still haven't got to the iconic plane of the P40. I got to get to done that because the number of P40s in this game is, uh, you know, it's becoming a, as numerous as the number of Shermans they have in World of Tanks, which is a fucking shit ton. Um, uh, so I picked this up in the garage, uh, I think last weekend, maybe the weekend before, whatever it was on sale. Right now, it currently is on sale again in a bundle package. Uh, you can get this plane. Um, now, I, I, if you guys don't know, and if you probably watched some of my videos, parts of the tank videos, you know that I'm kind of a collector. Uh, I usually, every time I buy something, I, or I usually don't sell it. Uh, planes was a little different. I didn't really have a lot of interest in this game. You know, I played it off and on for a couple years. Um, it was never really that interesting until... Uh, I mean, yeah, I, I liked the 1.9. Conquest made it a little bit more interesting. I still don't have a whole bunch of game, you know, over a thousand games in this, but hey, whatever. Uh, so I'm starting to slowly get back the planes that I sold over the years. Um, but yeah, so like in the tanks, you know, I have like over 400 tanks, so I, I, I have a tendency to collect this shit, um, whether it's good or bad. <laughs> uh, and planes, so I saw this state plane, I've, I've seen it a few times in game, way back in the day, and I thought, oh, maybe I'll try it out. And I read about it, and I was like, Okay, how bad could it be? Um, it, you know, and I don't typically give bad reviews on planes. You know, there's always something that makes them outstanding. Uh, you know, this plane, it has good altitude performance. Um, it has uh, fairly decent airspeed. Maneuverability is shit. Survivability is meh. And it's, but the really big kicker on this plane. So now, usually when you get altitude performance and airspeed, you usually get some sort of... Uh, ability to, to use it, right? You're going to be at altitude, you're going to be dealing with heavy fighters, you're going to be dealing with bombers, right? Um, you know, some sort of uh, cannon, you know, uh, something that lobs a shell, like, you know, a big shell, not just semi-big shell, and, and not just semi, but I mean like two of them, you know. Uh, and if you don't know what I'm talking about, this thing has the same firepower as the Tier 2 XP-30. XP-31 has a gun armament of 4. Our Tier 4 has a gun armament of 4. The P-40, which is the Tier 5, has 12. Three times the firepower of the Model 81A. Just, just in one tier difference. Uh, this thing has two 50 cal machine guns. Um, which is fine, uh, you know, like I said, um, the, 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 the P-23, which is, has two, you know, has one fifty cal and two 7.62s, and it's not that far off from this thing when it comes to firepower. Problem is, is this is tier four. So there, you're going to run into tier five planes, and anything with any amount of HP, you're going to have to be shooting at. So they give you good altitude performance, good airspeed. But they don't give you anything to, sh to actually shoot something when you shoot at something. So, um, you know, literally, I'm sitting here with my head, and I'm yelling at the screen, why won't you fucking die, right, after three minutes of continuous firepower? I mean, your 50s will overheat before you kill something. Um, and, and that's pretty amazing, because it's a 50 cal machine, you know. A P40, by the time you usually wreck something before they even get close to getting red. Uh, these, not so much. So, uh, to save you the time and effort, I'm going to give this <laughs> two thumbs down. Um, this is the biggest POS uh, that Wargaming has ever produced. Uh, 
in planes at least uh, tanks have it has a whole different yeah there, there there's that's a whole nother fuck up um, but yeah uh, in planes this this is not worth the time the effort or the money it looks nice I mean that's what it's got I mean it's a it's a p40 right it looks right um, yeah so don't buy this don't think about it uh, if you already have it sell it get the garage slot out of it and never tell anybody that you owned one ever <laughs> I just, uh, I can't, just, uh, yeah, just, just, just stay away from it, don't buy a package, deal with it, in it, unless you just want the silver and the garage slot, because you will hate this thing with a passion. So I got a couple games for you guys to see what I'm talking about, uh, and uh, I would say enjoy them, but, you know, I didn't enjoy it making the stupid things. <laughs> Alright guys. All right, guys, back with the first game in the Model 81A1. I'm playing with CAD tonight. Um, I painted this thing up, make it thinking maybe it look, maybe maybe it'd make me happier if it was painted pretty. Uh, so yeah, uh, threw a little camo on it, and uh, or a little paint job here on it. And um, I'm flying here with CAD. Uh, he's playing his BF109B. Uh, which is like I, th I think that thing's almost three times the firepower this thing has. Um, yeah, it, it's that ridiculous. I will give it this: it's got good altitude performance. Uh, it does get up. I mean, this is tier four, of course, so you're gonna rain holy terror on most of the planes at this tier, except for the BF 109s. Uh, other than that, you pretty much uh, have no problem staying above, staying above everything else. The problem is, even if you want to engage a light fighter. Uh, you know, say the classic zoom and boom, uh, you don't boom, you just zoom. Um, you, you're going to fly by a plane, and unless he's really low health, uh, you're, you're just going to tickle him. I mean, th that's all it is. Uh, you, you're not going to actually do a lot of damage to him uh, in a pass. So I got the uh, bullfighter coming in, and we're talking 450, 500 meters uh, maximum range with this gun. Uh, so to be effective, you're talking right around 400 meters or under uh, to be, you know, relatively uh, effective with this aircraft. Um, and you can just hear the few little clink, 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 clinks uh, that you do get off the plane. So we finished off the two bow fighters up high. Uh, I have the BSH-2 down at the bottom. Uh, I'm going to drop down here. Just trying to keep my speed down a little bit so I don't overshoot him because he's turning back into me. Uh, and we're doing the classic boom and zoom. Um... Yep. Oh, it's dismal, I tell you what. Alright, so here we go. Firepower on display. And, yep, that's 20, 30, 40, 50. Oh, I hit 125 maybe. Yep, nope, yep. Um, uh, oh, you know, like I said earlier, uh, you just sit here screaming at the at the screen why won't you fucking die um it, it, it is absolutely sad and you'll see some of these laters here when i get into some of the uh, heavy fighters and the bombers with this aircraft you know this this is perfectly capable of dealing with heavy fighters and bombers other than the fact um it'll take it'll take you know half the game to shoot one down so pull up here and we'll flip back over stalled out uh, we got the, uh, they got the center. Um, we finally took that one. It took us a little while here. Uh, I got the blind MF coming in here. Uh, we're going to see what we can do. See if we can drop down on him. Maybe take a few, a uh, little bit of his hit points off. Um, yeah, there we go. Uh, 14 hit points. Uh, that's, that's always nice. Uh, <laughs> all right, here we go. We're, we're within range. Um, pull in here. Steal the kill from CAD. He didn't need it. <laughs> pull back over on the boomerang. Uh, and even a boomerang, which doesn't have a whole lot of HP, uh, yeah, it, 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 it can take a while. All right, so let's get on him. Let's get on him. Let's get those guns on him. Um, get a f few more HP. <laughs> oh, here we go. Bow fighter going up. And you just look at what Cad's shooting. You, you know, he's got that BF-109, and it's just, it looks like a freaking fire hose coming out of that deal. Um, and big shells. He's got big shells. Um the, 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 these two fifties on here, and I, I'm going to bitch about it pretty much uh, the rest of the videos because uh, the, it's just ridiculous here. Well, there I got 16 hit points off of him. Um, 
pull back around. We'll see if we can finish him off. Uh, with the dismal range on this aircraft and the uh, the amount of HP that you can take off of an aircraft with a pass uh, is, is rather sad here. So I'm going to pull here on the BF on the blindum, um, start working him over, and I'm not the one actually not doing a lot of that damage. That's CAD and the BF 109 that you know uh, has firepower. Uh, I'm just kind of cleaning up here. So we got the ME 209 V4 coming in here. See if I can put some shells on him. Can't quite get up and over. Uh, and put a few more shells into him. You know, I'm just tickling him. That's all I'm doing. <laughs> uh, come back around. Looking for the, like I said, the big HP targets uh, where I can, you know, maybe make this thing work. Yeah, there's there's 70, there's 80. Um, yeah, um, yep, yep, I got it. Finally. Uh, no, that's right. B uh, Cad was there shooting him with the big cannons. Uh <laughs> Uh, oh wow! And you can just, you know, like I said, it it, it is so dismal uh, with the firepower on this thing, and it's kind of frustrate the fuck out of you because you just you feel completely impotent um, trying to do anything with just 250 cals. Uh, they just they're they're non-threatening. Um, they take forever uh, to take out an aircraft, heavy fighters. Uh, bombers, everything like that. You know, unless you're looking for H, low HP planes that are down around um, 25 hit points. <laughs> uh, yeah, other than that, no. Uh, it, it's just not the time, worth the time or the effort here. So flip back up. I got a ME209 V4 up here high again. And I got the blindum coming across here. So this is my this is my big chance right here. I'm going gonna, I'm, I'm gonna to roll over here. Uh, and see if I can get something. Oh, that's right. I, I only have uh, 450 essentially effective range uh, with this aircraft. Uh, ME 209 comes in and gets a nice pass. And he's got, you know, 120 and I believe 17.62. And he's got more firepower than I do. So pick up another kill on the heavy fighter. Uh, he's climbing away. I don't have much chance. That airplane is ridiculous in a climb, uh, so it's very nice. So I got a bow fighter. I got a DO-17, um, and I'm going to start in on him. Uh, hopefully before the squall lines, you know, after the two-minute mark, I might have him dead. Uh, Ed's a jerk, apparently. So remember Ed, if you, if, if you see Ed as a bot, uh, he's a jerk. Um. <laughs> uh, pull around. What do we got over here? Uh, I think, yep, yep, the O17Z, he's just coming up here. Uh, let's see if I can finish off the VO, the ME209 V4. Slowly, but surely, I might get him. Yep, come on, buddy. There we go. Fly away from me. Makes my job easier. Um, finish him off. It's in about 6,500. Not terrible bad. I mean, you know, uh, you know, 9,000, 10,000 combat score. You know, you're talking a little over 100k. Uh, not too, not too bad. Not too bad for a premium plane. Uh, it's just you really have to work at the, with this aircraft to get a lot of damage with it. Uh, you're gonna spend a lot of time, um, you know, pummeling targets uh, and not necessarily getting a lot of results out of it. Uh, I, I'm not sure. I mean, I get it. This thing probably should have been a uh, maybe a tier three. <laughs> you know, nerf its uh, altitude performance a little bit uh, and then left it there, or at least at the at, at the very least gave it a modified uh, with the three o with the three o threes uh, that it could have put in the wings uh, and left the two fifties here in the center. Uh, I, I I was at one point really actually kind of worried that this blindum. Uh, rear gunner w was going to kill me before I could finish him off. Um, I mean, as you can see, any 300 hit points, yeah, you, I'm in the red uh, with the 50 kills. Um, it, it, it's just, it's just not a, uh, it's just not a, uh, a damage. Be hard to do if you're not a damage dealer to actually to rack up, you know, big combat scores and uh, at least point wise. Um, all right, back with another game in the fabulous uh, 81A. Um, uh, you know, this is going to be the last video. I'm not even going to go to do the third one. 
uh, it, it's it's depressing just to think about it. And I was and I was with and the Cad's with me in this one too. Um, he, he he can testify to how much I bitched in between each match uh, with the uh, anemic firepower on this. Um, you know, it, it, especially if you run into tier fives. Uh, you, you know, the other the aircraft. You know, BF09 is going to match you. Altitude, uh, better maneuverability and firepower, uh, and better altitude. Uh, so you're not going to have much advantage uh, uh, with that in that aspect. Uh, as for other light fighters, uh, even if you do get a pass on them, uh, you're not going to get a whole lot of uh, damage done on that aircraft uh, before it's uh, before you make a, before you get through with the zoom and boom. Uh, so which, it, like I said, really makes it anemic uh, to play that kind of uh, play style. Uh, same way with high altitudes. Same way with heavy fighters, you just completely lack the uh, firepower to effectively kill those planes fast enough without taking a bunch of HP off, uh, which, I, like I said before, uh, makes it difficult to rack up high combat scores, or even, like I said, or even high uh, high damage scores because it, with the 50 kills, uh, unless you can unless you can keep it on target for long periods of time. Uh, like I, what I'm going to do here with the DO 17 z uh, you know, by now if I was flying anything but this, uh, I'd already have three-fourths of his health off. Uh, but I have to stay on him and stay on him and stay on him and stay on him. Uh, and even at this rate, my 50 cals have started to overheat. Uh, it's just too big of a H pool, HP pool for 250 cals to run through. Uh, yeah, still going to be two thumbs down uh, unless you're really interested in this aircraft as a trainer. Uh, it's it's just not worth uh, the seven or eight bucks that's that they're selling it for. Uh, it just does not have a whole lot going for it uh, in, in anything. Um, you know, you do see tier fives in this plane, uh, which which you know for the most part is, are are pretty rough uh, to deal with. You know, uh, other Spitfires and whatnot. Uh, yeah, it, it's not an easy thing. So back up to the top we go. Let's see if we can get some altitude. Um, yeah, um, uh, I'm running out of things to say. How much I hate this plane. <laughs> I, I don't know what else to tell you. So flip over. It gets me with the 37. Puts me on fire. Um, we're gonna flip back over here and we're gonna see if we can catch him as he gets away. Uh, yeah, he's he's out of my effective range pretty quickly. Uh, luckily enough, he pulls the up and over uh, it gives me a little bit of wing area sadly I did not quite have enough uh, enough speed to get up that high hurricane ones looking at my ass uh, we're gonna have to dodge uh, luckily he was nice enough to turn off on me uh, and lets me get in on the side of him uh, and start working him over here slowly but surely uh, you know and ideally with 250 kills yeah it would work great if you wanted to fight light fighters uh, give this thing a super maneuverable, you know, airframe um, where you can stay down low and and, and that's what you're going to do with it. You'd be fine. Uh, but with its high altitude performance, uh, you know, and its airspeed, you're, you're, you you know, I've always said before, you know, pick on the planes, uh, pick on, do your role with, 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 what, with what you got. And it just does not have the firepower to do that. And there, there, there is nothing, uh, how does that... Uh, Old saying, uh, all the thrust in Christian, Christian, uh, in Christendom will make this thing into a, f a fighter. Uh, and th and that, that, that's like I said, that, that's, you know, uh, I think they said that about the F 111 or something like that. Uh, it, it was a dog. Uh, in this case, it's not so much the thrust as it just doesn't have the, it just doesn't have the boom to, to make it stick, you know. Christendom, Christendom. Yeah. Having a hard time with English tonight. <laughs> Pick up the Bristol. He's coming in. Um, yeah, I'm scary. I'm so scary. Uh, fly away when you see me coming. Because uh, head-to-head, -head, I will lose to a Tier 2 fighter probably most of the time. <laughs> so, thanks for watching. And... Uh all right, I lied. I have time enough time to make another one. 
uh, I thought better of it a little bit later. I'm like, yeah, I, I, I can't just bitch about the plane. I have to say something nice about it. I got to give it something. Um, uh, it's, um, it's pretty, uh, especially with that paint job. I mean, yeah, I, I like the marine colors on it. Uh, it, it definitely makes it look. I was going to put the tiger's mouth on it, you know, like the, you know, like my other P40, but it just didn't seem right with that. I mean, yeah, look at that. I mean, it's a pretty looking plane. All right, I've said my nice thing about it. Uh, back to the bitchin'. Um, <laughs> in this game, I have a little bit more luck. Uh, I start picking on, you know, not just the the uh, the heavy fighters and the bombers. Uh, I start picking also looking for the uh, low health um, light fighters. And generally, like I said, with with your altitude performance, where you can stay above 2,000 meters pretty easily, uh, there's not a whole lot even at uh, this level that you can come up and pick you up. So, drop down in here, uh, looking, looking, see if I can pick him up. Oh, uh, yeah, there, that's five hit points. Oh, 20, 40. No, but that's somebody else doing all that damage. <laughs> uh, pick up the A6M1. He's coming in. Um, pummel him, kind of, maybe. I got an I-17 on my tail. Flip up and over. Uh, we're going to drop back down here. Yeah, there we go. We're going to pick you up one more time. I'll get the last 24 hit points. Don't worry, guys. I got it. Uh, kill secured. Uh, I have another I-17. He's just all over me. Lit lights me on fire. Uh, he goes up and over, and he gets wrecked. So we got the center air strip. And we, um, yeah, we control the center, uh, which is... Always nice, uh, especially with the wrench and the respawn right here. Uh, I point out once again to CAD that we're going to run over here to this other garrison uh, and start picking up some more uh, some more objective points. Uh, slowly but surely. So I got me a boomerang coming straight in on me here. Uh, another boomerang down low. I'm kind of just kind of yeah, hoping, hoping. Uh, they're going to do a little damage to this guy before I uh, have to actually deal with him. Uh, this bow fighter he nails out, or heavy heavy fighter. Uh, so lives me this other bow fighter that's running away here. So I'm going to start working on him. Um, yeah. Uh, I, I mean, look how fast those numbers come off. <laughs> um, why won't you fucking die? I, I'm serious. I said that probably four times. When I was playing this plane, uh, it, it, it was it was absolutely frustrating uh, to have to kill, to have to uh, spend that much time on target uh, just to uh, kill a plane. So, um, starting to climb back up to altitude a little bit here. We, for the most part, are already uh, like objective wise, we're probably already up here uh, when we control the uh, most important, which is the center. Um, the DO-17, the actual bomber, he's dead. Uh, our uh, heavy fighters are actually doing their job. I got the BF-110 off here to my right, and I'm thinking about it. Yeah, screw it. He's coming up. Hopefully I'll meet him up here uh, as he's climbing uh, and pick him off. Uh, Juan, sorry Juan, uh, there we go. Moving on behind him, he's low health. Uh, yeah, I, I, I'm going to get a little bit. There we go. Uh, low health planes, good planes. Uh, <laughs> easy kill. Uh, pull back up, get some altitude. Got an I-17 down here below me. BF-109B. He could be trouble. He has as good as altitude performance as I do. Uh, plus maneuverability. Uh, plus firepower. Uh, he's fucking with CAD right now, and, uh, you know, CAD's like the BF-109 specialist uh, in the clan. Uh, so, yeah, he's going to win anyway. But you know what? I'm going to steal some... Uh, never mind. <laughs> I thought I was going to get it, but... Uh, oh, that's right. I, 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 I don't have the uh, <laughs> firepower to do it. So, BF-109, BF-110 shows back up again. Flip back around on him. Um, yeah, we're going to get him, we're going to get him, we're going to get him. 
my numbers are not that big, but they're important. Um, me and Cad trade a little bit of paint, uh, a little bit of aluminum, uh, kind of a friendly hello. Uh, yeah, uh, we, we usually uh, fly pretty close to each other when we're playing this game. <laughs> there's been there's been several times where we've uh, brushed over and over. Uh, Spitfire one, uh, yeah, I'm I'm fucked. Um, he got me down at low altitude. Uh, he he's got. In the 120, he's got more firepower than I do. Uh, so he nails me, knocks me out, which is fine. I have uh, the respawns in the center. Uh, and I'm going to respawn right back and back in on top of him. At this point, I actually had thought about changing planes because I was getting like, you know, fuck this. Uh, pick up the Spitfire. He's going uh, away from me. Uh, yeah, that's all right. Uh, we're just going to start working on him here slowly but surely. Oh. Uh, and I didn't want to get in a turn fight with him, so I start boosting up uh, and flip up and over. Uh, he was nice enough to me to play the, he's going to try to come up um, and pick off that plane. So I'm just going to work you over slowly but surely. Uh, it only took me, you know, two times to finally get enough damage to kill him. Uh, pick up the BF one time. Juan, 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 Juan's come back to the center. Uh, he's respawned a lot in this game, Juan did. <laughs> he dies again pick up Olaf he's got 67 hit points uh, and I take two of them <laughs> before he's dead ah uh, shit so we got the two objectives three objectives um, it's not looking good for the red team uh, I got the Spitfire 1 coming off to the side here and I wasn't terribly sure he kind of was kind of flying like he was heading to the objective it was only a little bit later that I realized that he was actually AFK. Uh, once I got, like I said, right about here, I was like, yeah, he's AFK. But, but, that doesn't, that's not going to stop me. That's not going to stop me at all, folks. Uh, I'm going to get in behind him. Um, yeah, right at 500 meters, I come to effective range. About 350 is about really where you want to be. 250 better yet. Um, yeah, I got him, finally. <laughs> so we picked up the fourth objective uh, we're sitting both pretty decent on the combat scores a game like these are so quick it's hard to get a, a decently high combat score especially if you fly around too much we probably could have just camped center uh, most of the game uh, and shot down the uh, and, and played the all you can eat buffet uh, but you know hey uh, we're, we were in it for the win tonight boys uh, we got a scorpion. Um, yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, got the BF1. And it's fucking Juan again. Um, back over. And Juan's dead. <laughs> oh, shit. All right. Um, pick up the A6M. He's not paying attention. I get those. I get that 40 hit points. Feel like a badass. Uh, flip over. Got the F2A below me. Um, oh, he dies quickly. Uh, there isn't much left here. Spitfire 1 once again. Um, he's going up. And I got enough guys here. I don't have a little bit too much trouble uh, getting in a spin fight with him because he's not going to be able to get on my tail without dying. So he's going to fly away from me. Uh, I'll get you, buddy. Uh, between the hail of lead that uh, Cad's throwing up and I'm throwing up, uh, yeah, we'll get him. Uh, so yeah, three players left. We got another Spitfire one coming. He's AFK as fuck, and he's yeah, he's not almost worth not even worth the effort to go chase down. <laughs> uh, he might be having trouble with his cachet. You never know. He didn't clear it properly before he started the game. <laughs> uh, fuck, war gaming, you're depressing. <laughs> BF 109B is coming in here. Volker, Falker, Falker. Volker, whatever, yeah, whatever you want to call it. Um, see if I can uh, snipe him out with my 50s. Pick up 1, oh, 6, 12, 15, 27. Um, <laughs> got another another 4. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I'm just having one of them fucking nights with this plane. Uh, I was so happy to be done and over with. Uh, and I was like, I, I can't fucking, I can't do it. I can't do it.